Hello, Mrs. Elke here. Today I'm working with me. Me is Ian. Ian. Yes. Ian's in fourth grade and he's got presents on the mind. So he wanted to do some Christmas presents for this video. So we did three fun Christmas presents. You can see we've added some fun little designs to the wrapping. You can really have a good time with this one and get creative as you add little details to your Christmas presents that you draw, all right? Uh, we just use colored pencils for this one and a marker for the outline. So grab your pencil, grab your colors, and have fun making Christmas Present. presents, all right? Almost as fun as opening them, right? Sorta, yeah. sorta kinda, not quite. All right, we'll see you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I know where present is. To start our drawing here, I'm going to use a rectangle and I think I'm gonna do one right about here that's floating. And the nice thing about this exercise here is if yours are different than mine, it really is not gonna matter. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do a square underneath that rectangle. And this is gonna be our first present shape. Present. And the top of this one, I'm going to do a bow that kind of looks like this. It's gonna have these raindrop type shapes like that. Like a shoelace? Or a shoelace. And then I'm gonna do another one on the inside like that. And then I might just have a little section coming out to the side like that on either side, the, the extra ribbon that's kind of hanging off the edge. I also wanna show that some of this ribbon is going down the side of the package, so I'm just gonna make a stripe that kind of goes right down the front of this present, like that, by making two parallel lines. All right, I'm gonna do two more presents. So I'm gonna make one that is a rectangle and it's gonna be a little shorter than the other one. I'm a little thinner, but again, you can really make it however you want. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the bottom. I do want the bottom of my presents to kind of be close to this ending in, in a similar spot. They can be a little bit different, like maybe I'll make this one a little bit lower but they should be kind of similar here. And again, I'm gonna add a ribbon that goes down the middle, but my bow is gonna be different on the top. So there's my ribbon down the middle. And then my bow on the top, I'm gonna to do um, a shape kind of like this. So it's, it goes up and then curves just a little bit and then goes back down. And I'm gonna do that a couple times, so that it almost kind of is a half circle for the bow here. Maybe I'll have five of them so that it looks like a nice clean bow. So you wanna do it probably till it goes all the way to the side. So you might have to do even more because yours aren't as wide, yep. Nice. Then we're gonna have a jumbo present in, in the back of these two. So maybe not quite that jumbo, but I'm gonna start again with the rectangle like that. And then I'm gonna take it down and this time it's gonna be behind the other two presents. So it'll, it'll go down behind them until I run into them and then I'm gonna make the back or the bottom part of the present just kind of go in here in between these two. And we don't wanna make it too close to these lines because it'll make these two flat. So we have to back it up a little bit so that there's room for all of them to sit, okay? And then again, I'm gonna keep with this theme of having the ribbon come down the front here because I like that. And so I'm gonna go ahead and throw that ribbon on there wherever you can see it, yeah, depending on how your presents are. And then I'm gonna go ahead and throw just some shapes up here to make a bow again. This time I'm gonna make a couple of floating shapes. Um, 
And that will hopefully look like a bow when I'm done. Yeah. So bows can look like all kinds of different things. So I'm just gonna throw a couple of these random shapes in here to kind of make it look like some kind of fancy bow. And again, you could also throw some fancy ribbon kind of going off the edge like that. <laughs> yeah, it works. There are all kinds of toppings you can put on these that, that look fun, so we'll help when we color. All right, before we color, I do wanna add a couple of details to these presents just for fun. This is a drawing that you could really play around with pattern. And so I wanna do just a couple different patterns on my presents. So this one, I wanna add some stripes to, and I want my stripes to be diagonal. I'm only doing it on the bottom part of the box because the top part of the box, I'm gonna leave a solid color. So I'm just adding some diagonal lines which when I color in will look like some fun kind of stripe pictures here or design pattern on the wrapping. And again, there's so many different kinds of wrapping paper out there. So you could really get creative with this part. Yeah, just try to make sure these lines connect on both sides. So like this oh. one needs, needs a friend over here. Okay. Um, another thing I'm gonna do that's just a fun, simple one is I like to add polka dots. So. I'm gonna add polka dots to this one. I was gonna do that. You read my mind. And again, I'm leaving the top and the ribbon alone and I'm just adding the design on the bottom part of the box. And then this third box too, I'm gonna add a design. Steal my idea. Oh, I'm not gonna steal your idea. Okay, you do something and, and see what happens. Stripes? You might wanna leave the top part of the box empty though. So you oh. just made a fat ribbon, but you can add stripes <laughs> on the bottom here. And I was actually gonna do triangles for like little Christmas trees here. So we didn't copy each other's design. There you go. Yay. But yeah, you could really add all kinds of things from getting real fancy and adding little snowmen or something or little stockings or I don't know, holly and berries. There's lots of different uh, things you could add to these to make them look pretty cool. All right, so now we are going <laughs> to color. Yay! And when I color, I, I like to use Christmassy colors, but I mean, these are really hmm. open to, to kind of do whatever, so. I feel like making this one kind of look candy cane-ish, so I'm gonna make my stripes red. I thought that would be kind of a fun thing to do for this one. And you can decide too if you want your ribbon to coordinate or if you want it to be like an opposite color. There's a lot of fun things you can do when decorating these. Ian has been eyeballing all the Christmas presents under the tree right now. Ian, have you, have you seen anything that you think you know what it is? Mm, I know what one thing is. Oh yeah, what's that? Glow sticks. Oh, he thinks that he's getting some glow sticks Whoa. for Christmas, huh? The other things too. The ones that you, um, all on it. you crack and yep. then open up and play with in the dark. We have very dark days right now in winter time and so glow sticks are fun. But you never know. We'll have to see. Oh, it's purple. I thought it was blue. Well, you can still use blue. You haven't done that much coloring. I'll do the blue for the next side. Ah. So we're gonna keep coloring and we'll come back to show you how we've done with all of these different fun present patterns and designs. Goodbye! As you can see, we are adding the finishing touches to our pictures here by adding all kinds of fun colors to our gifts. And I wanted to show you too, I decided to add a little bit of shading on mine um, especially if there are sections that I wanted to leave white. What I did was I got a darker shade of blue 
um, this is actually indigo and I just colored real lightly in areas um, that would maybe be in shadow like right underneath the top of the box uh, along the edges I did a little bit so that the presence kind of pop a little bit more and you could do it all the same color or if you wanted to like I used a little bit of the green to shade too um, you could do that as well so another thing too right now they're just kind of floating if I wanted to ground them a little bit I could add just a little bit of that same this is indigo to the ground here to make them look like they've got kind of a fading shadow here so that is another option if you want to kind of give them a little bit of a shadow you could do that as well but I just wanted to add that in yeah. probably do that a little around right there Good. all right so we hope you enjoyed drawing and coloring these beautiful presents with us and uh, have fun with this one. See what kind of fun patterns or designs you can come yeah. up with. If you are liking these videos, Ian, what should they do? Subscribe and like. Subscribe and like. Please do that so that you can get notifications on when we add more stuff, all right? Awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.